Hello everyone, we will continue our case study for sales order report and in the previous video, we make use of the three function modules, FP job open, FP function module name, FP job close. Now, firstly, we will check in the debugging mode. Are we getting a expected output? Then we will move on to next part. So firstly, I will put a breakpoint onto this if statement. And now I will run the program. I will give that date. I will go to execute. Now, whenever we will click on to this button, we all know user command will call. Now, what is the value of R underscore U com? It is Adobe form. So this if condition is true. I'm doing F6. I'm on 174 number line. This whole will act as one line, one line. So I'm doing F6. So I will just put that device name. I will go for print preview. Now job opened successfully, size of RC zero. Now we will move on to next function module. I'm on 188 number line now. We are passing our Adobe form. It will return the function module of the Adobe form. If you see, as of now, this variable is blank. Once I will execute this function module, I will get the function module of the Adobe form into this variable. I'm doing F6. You can see we got the function module of the Adobe form or PDF form. Where if you run your Adobe form or PDF form independently, the same function module will be there. If I will go to SFP transaction port, if I will execute my Adobe form, you can see we have same to same function module ending with 50. Are we getting same to same in the debugging mode? Yes, same to same. Now we are calling the function module. We have not hard coded. We are using this variable. So whatever the variable value is there, we are calling yes, that function module. Now we are passing the low value, high value. We are passing the username. And this is our data. This is our item data. We are passing all these things. I'm doing F6. Okay. There's a breakpoint in the interface of the Adobe form. I will remove this breakpoint. Now I will move on to next part. Now I will just go to third function module. So our second function module. Now I will simply, simply go to the third function module, FP job close. So I opened the job. I called the Adobe form or I called the function module of the Adobe form or PDF form. Now I'm closing that job. Do not confuse with that interface part. You saw the statement break point. If I will go to the interface of Adobe form or PDF form, it was written there. I will remove that. It was written there. Okay. Anyways, we need to remove this. That's why it stopped there. Now we are closing the job. Now you can see we got the Adobe form or PDF form. Very good look and feel. Yes. SO item details. SO creation date from value to value. SO created by and this is the item data of how many columns? Six columns. So we got the expected output. Now, same to same requirement again from the customer, which in case of smart form also. So firstly, I will just comment this breakpoint. 
so that it will not stop. Now I will just run the program again and we will go for same to same requirement which we handled in smart forms also. Suppose I'm giving some input and I'm going to execute. Now, whenever I will click on to this button, now what customer is saying? Customer is saying, I do not want this pop-up. I do not want, I will not click on to print preview button. I will not put the output device. Whenever I will click on to the button, I should directly get the output in the Adobe form or PDF form. Same requirement we handled in smart form also. Now we will handle in PDF form or Adobe form. So now we need to write the logic for three things. Firstly, we will remove this dialog box or dialog pop-up. Then we will simply make this print preview button ticked. We all know we need to pass the value to true. True means capital X. And then we will pass that device, device LP01. We will pass. Same thing we did in smart forms. Same thing now we will do for PDF form also. Three things. This pop-up, this dialog not required. Print preview automatically tick and we will pass the value of output device. So I will write a logic for the same. So I will go to the program. Now we will see what are the various parameters we need to use. You can see in case of Adobe form or PDF form, Firstly, we are opening the job. Here itself, we will check. We have LWA output params. If I will double click, it is of this type. I will double click onto this structure type. Now we will use the various things. Firstly, you do not require that pop-up. It means we will pass no dialog is equal to capital X. Then we want preview should be automatically ticked. Then we will pass preview is equal to capital X. Now we will not use this device and I explained in smart form also because it is character 8. We need to check for spool output device. If I will check spool, this is spool output device. We will use DEST. In smart form, the column name was TDDEST. Here it is DEST. So we will use these three columns. Now I will write the logic. So firstly, I will write LWA underscore output params. What is the first column we want to use? I will just copy. Firstly, we do not want that dialog pop up. And what is the name of the column? No dialog. And we will pass it to capital X. I will cross verify. Is this no dialog? Yes, this is no dialog. Now I will go to Preview. I will do control D. Now I will go to preview. Preview is equal to capital X. Now we will go for third. What is our third? Third will be, I think, best. I will check. Control F. School. Yes, we will use best. And we will pass that device as LP01. And we will put LP01. And we are passing all these things to this particular parameter. So while opening the job itself, 
dialog pop up will not come preview will be automatically ticked and device is lp01 i will check the syntax and i will activate it i will put a breakpoint for this part and i will show you the expected output this is always customer requirement because customer always ask for the minimum number of clicks i will go to execute i will click here i entered into debugging mode the see as of now lwa output params it is blank totally blank now we are putting no dialog capital x we are putting preview capital x and we are putting the test what is the value of test lp01 all these things we are passing to this function module which will open the job and i am doing f8 have you seen we directly got the output no pop up came we have not clicked on to preview button we have not put the device name so what is the summary of this particular video in this video firstly we check the output in the debugging mode we understood the various steps after that what we did we simply removed that dialog pop up we simply removed that preview because preview is automatically ticked and we have written the logic to pass the device name also same thing we did in smart form so we put no dialog capital x preview capital x we put that dest is equal to lp01 and we got the expected output in the next video we will go for again same to same thing if we are not passing the high value of the date it should not come if we are not giving the created by it should not come so in the next video we will handle this part through java script we all know yes we need to write the scripting language for the same that part we will continue in the next video so that's it in this video thank you